Hi everyone, thank you so much for being here. My name is Anne. Did you know that our bodies is a temple of God? It is a place where God dwells? Well, we're going to talk all about it, so don't go anywhere. So in Mark chapter 11, it tells us a story. It says Jesus went into the temple and he became upset. He became upset because there were merchants and thieves and they were selling all sorts of stuff and they were not respecting the temple. And he said, this is my father's house. It is a house of prayer. Not, it should not be a den of thieves. And so he cast out the people and he threw over the chairs and the tables. And you know, if we read this, the Bible carefully, we'll realize that the temple just symbolizes God's plan of salvation. It symbolizes how Christ will work on our behalf so that we can be saved. And so when so now that Jesus is, is a, came to earth and has fulfilled the law, we are now the temple of the living God. And can you imagine the value that he now placed on us? And so in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, in verses 19 and 20 says, Know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you. So the Holy Ghost is, is in us, which is Christ himself. Because he said in Matthew, he said, when I leave, my father and I will make an abode with you. My father and I will come and live inside of you. Which he have of God and he are not your own. So no longer we belong to our own self. God is in charge of us. And verse 20 says, For ye are bought with a price. And what is that price? The price is the blood of Jesus. The life of Christ. We're bought with that price. How, how valuable is that? Therefore, glorify God with your body. And in your spirit, which are God's. So our bodies now and our spirit, because man is both humans or both body and spirit. We are the temple of God. We are the sanctuary of God. Our bodies are the place where God dwells. And so if, we're, if, if God dwells inside of you, if God dwells inside of me, how should we treat ourselves? Is it okay for us to take an experimental vaccine? It is okay for us to, to feed our minds on negativity like gossiping? Should we treat our bodies and our spirit with high value because this is a place where God dwells? Yes. We should, because it belongs to God. And we were bought with the blood of Jesus, with the life of Christ. And there's no greater value than that. And so sometimes we, we look at the obvious sin, like fornication and adultery. We say, we're, we're going to stay away from those things because my body is holy. But let's, let's take a look today. Look at the small things, what we consider small things, and ask ourselves an honest question. Am I treating my body like it was paid and bought with the price, the blood of Jesus? Am I honoring God with my body and my spirit? Until next time, take care.